And I remember Geno Smith at West Virginia, great quarterback. I thought he was going to be a first-round draft pick, but he slipped to the second round. I remember him in the green room, suited and booted, thought he was going to be a first-round draft pick, but he fell to the Jets in the second round. Now, he was disappointed, very disappointed about going second round. Now, his Jet career was a disaster. Jets weren't that good during his years there. Now, during them days of his career, the Jets weren't, they weren't good. He struggled, had some issues on the field. It didn't last long in New York. Then he started making the rounds all over the league. So for him to have an all-pro season in 2022, nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw Geno Smith having no all-pro season in 2022. When they traded, when Seattle traded Russell Wilson, everybody thought Drew Locke was going to be the quarterback. They were like, ah, Geno Smith, nah, he's a backup. He's been a backup for six, seven years. Geno Smith won the job. Been passed for more than 4,000 yards. Now, he did struggle interceptions late. But, man, nobody saw this coming. So now he signed a contract extension for $105 million. Three years. He's going to make $52 million in 2023. Once again, we never seen this coming. We thought Geno was done. If anybody tells me they saw Geno Smith being an all-pro quarterback in 2022, they straight up lying. Nobody saw this. Pete Carroll didn't see it. And he led the boys to the playoffs. And he got a chance to run it back the most. He doesn't turn it over with interceptions and fumble and bonehead plays. Seattle has a formula. They got a formula. The win at least nine games a season seems like it happened every year. So if Gino plays lights out, don't turn it over, they could probably win 11 games this season. But yeah, congratulations to Gino Smith on the contract. 105 million over three years, 52 million guaranteed in that first year. Almost anything's possible with America and in sports.